I am Luisa. I am an art researcher and curator from Brazil. Um, I have different backgrounds. I studied uh, visual arts, education, psychoanalysis, and I'm currently doing my PhD in philosophy uh, with a focus on aesthetics and um, ecological thought. Through this transdisciplinary point of view, uh, I've been interested in how art can mobilize us for environmental struggle. Uh, more specifically, through joyness and avoiding this um, common trope of denouncing the planetary ecocide. And Poland has provided me a very interesting context to investigate and also complexify this question uh, in relation to the struggles I find in Brazil, which are very much tied to colonial history and racial justice. And in both countries, there and now here, I've been researching uh, artists, collectives, um, coalitions, and maybe most important, community-based initiatives linked to ecology, and trying to learn their strategies, their um, visual materials, and also their forms of archiving their actions. Um, as part of my residency, I'm also translating into Polish this text by philosopher Deborah Danowski, uh, where she asks uh, what world we will be living in when we celebrate the 100th anniversary of the Warsaw Ghetto Uprising in 2043, uh, considering that by them uh, global temperature can exceed 1.5 degrees of warming. Uh, and she also adds, uh, which side of the wall we will be? And I think that these questions of the wall, the borders, and a war of words are very relevant if we consider the context of the Biaiovesa forest, uh, where we have now this wall crossing the forest, uh, which is an ancient and borderland forest. And so the wall is blocking migrations of both humans and non-humans beings. And uh, so I've been learning about the forest as the site of for several conflicts and also uprisings. Um, and in parallel to all this, as I said in the beginning, uh, I've been trying to develop this joyful <laughs> uh, mobile displays uh, that can host and carry uh, what I'm calling minor exhibitions. So they are uh, displays that are made for public spaces. And uh, in these public spaces, they should uh, activate conversations with different passerbys. And I understand the displays also as uh, nomadic museums or wandering uh, institutions, art institutions that can cross the borders and can experience uh, migration exile as well.